Well, Stellar Blade has been released and people are going over the game with a fine tooth comb looking at all the changes that apparently Sony has decided to make just before worldwide release of the game and people are finding dozens and dozens of, of examples of Sony getting uncomfortable with the booba. Uh, you know, Sony's fine with two dudes uh, getting it on in The Last of Us 2, but a very real woman, uh, perhaps she, um, looking a little too real, has them extremely angry and... The backlash has been swift. People are pointing it out. There's a whole hashtag movement going on. So share this video under hashtag free stellar blade. Uh, and I think that they're pointing the correct amount of venom at the correct person. Oftentimes people pick the wrong target, but in this case, it's Sony. Stellar blade developers shift up, acknowledge the outfit censorship. More players provide video evidence of the changes. So we've had uh, several different outfits that got censored again. For me, I'm not buying the game. I wasn't buying the game because of the various outfits. I'm not a, you know, I'm a guy that spends like three minutes tops on a player like customization thing. But I know that lots of people can spend hours and hours and hours making their character look just how they want. And that's a different way to game. And I respect that. And so having all these various costumes for the character, while we're not a purchasing factor for me, like, I'm going to play the game, but I'll probably never even change the default look of the character. Um, but that's another way to game. People like that kind of stuff. People like, and by the way, girls like that kind of stuff. And so people are pissed. By the way, uh, Mother's Day is only two weeks away. Reminding everyone today, real quick, Coffee Brand Coffee, my coffee company, we sell out of our Mother's Day gift boxes every single year. So make sure you pick yours up today. Promo code MOTHER to save 10% for early birds. We have a, our pre-made one with our delicious toffee brand toffee with almonds, kettle corn, saltwater taffy, or you can use our industry-leading gift box builder and put together the perfect gift for mom. So we look at Niche Gamer. Stellar Blade acknowledges uh, censorship acknowledged by Shift Up. Yesterday, Cam's, fans came forward to see different versions of the Hollywood Rabbit costume on Stellar Blade as a result of claims and misinformation took over the discourse. We talked about this. I talked about this on my live stream, which again will be live today at 5:30 Eastern, just like we always are, Monday through Friday. But today I'll be I'll have sticks, hex and hammer there. So there was a rabbit costume that had changed slightly. There was another costume that had changed slightly, but all of them were to show less skin and not to show more. So it was obvious why they did it. But they also tuned out and turned down the like the the um the when you defeat an enemy the blood in the game which is probably for china but i don't know um the first signs of censorship were with this costume people said eh, maybe it's not but it was in fact the case what appears to be the case is that reviewers who received the digital copy of the game were actually playing a 1.01 patch as opposed to the game that was actually shipped this transition patch between the original game and the day one day one 1 1.0 patch appears to have been censored the out have censored several outfits. The information has uh, about the uncensored outfits came from the individuals who received physical editions early and played the game without the patch. In the hours since, Stellar Blade became available. More users have begun speaking up about the censorship and have been uploading videos of the outfit. There's also footage of the director of Stellar Blade claiming to be acknowledging the censorship in the latest patch of the game. When asked, he gives a canned response claiming that the censored version came in the intended version, but in my opinion, it seems a very likely Sony response. There have been other changes, such as reducing the level of gore in the game and stick and how it sticks on Eve's body. Both of these changes come despite assurances from Shift Up that the game would be untouched for all regions. Fans of Stellar Blade are organizing online to share the displeasure with the censorship of the game, which has seemingly been mandated by Sony. So what are people doing about it, right? You see this at 420, on 426 at the Stellar Blade launch event, director reveals that they're aware of the issue. Quote, we're aware of the issue. The version we ended up showing was a day one patch version. It's not an answer that will satisfy users anyway. Internal discussions are ongoing. Now, Grums, who has been cataloging this, former developer over at World of Warcraft, uh, the Classic Edition lead developer, uh, has been organizing what I think is a decent way to look at it. First and foremost, um, 
I think games journalists are going to run with this censorship because they want people to not buy the game. So what do you do about that? How do you f complain about censorship but still support the developer itself because the developer wasn't the one that canceled the game? Well, you stick it to Sony and you cancel your PSN memberships. I mean, I think that's the best way to do it. So Grums put this, show them gamers win, restore the original game to what was promised, a thread, hashtag free Stellar Blade. One, reached out to the, uh, the creator of Stellar Blade while we had some casual DMs before. I sent him this this morning. Launch day is very busy. He will probably not be in office some time, or if he is, it will be in meetings, so I don't expect to hear back. That's not the point. The point is to get the ball rolling. Step two, he follows me. As I tweet about what we're going to do, you can leave replies and he will likely see how many there are and read them. Everything matters. Step three, uh, search ban. Okay, so all three of these steps are about helping Grumps. Let's go. <laughs> uh, I love you. I love you, Mark. Uh, but uh, step four, contact shift up offices. To be the most effective, you must mail a physical letter. That's not untrue. Expats or Korean fans also need to politely visit the office to physically drop off the letter, but also email. You can send it here to cs at shiftup.co.kr. Asian cultures are very different, and tone and physical mail carries more weight than emails. Funny enough, faxes work too. MMO companies even there have centers customers can visit. The message is, your game is more than a game. It's a cultural beacon worldwide for a change in AAA gaming. You have our support. Please reverse the changes and show us the game unchanged. Second, Eve Studio is the studio that makes up Stellar Gay, or Stellar Blade. Step five, and I think this is the one, the real people that you need to flex on, because ultimately the developer needs the distributor or the publisher. Now, if the game was available on PC, it would be very different. You could mod it out. You could, you know, you could wait to get the game on PC. If it's going to be available uh, on, on PC, then you wait for that. Here's what he writes. Sony, North America, and at PlayStation, Sony is different. North American offices are very sensitive to social media. You need to post to them, tag them, and get hashtag free Stellar Blade trending. I would agree with that. There's a double standard. Cyberpunk, Baldur's Gate 3, post comparison images with those of other games that Sony also rates mature, highlight it, and get it trending. Step 6. Boycott, but boycott the correct target. We're also going to support Stellar Blade. Uh, we're also going to so send the real target Sony a message. Cancel your at PlayStation Plus subscription. Give them the reason as hashtag free seller blade and get them to allow shift up to change it back. Buy physical copy, copies of the game instead and don't give Sony their digital margin. That's also a fair point. Getting the physical copy may be a little bit annoying, although I don't know where how it is where you live, but like if I order from Amazon, it'll be here later today. Sure, if I buy the digital, you know, It'll be here now, now, but like, or I could get off my lazy rear end, go grab a sub from Jimmy John's or something like that and uh, swing by Best Buy, pick up a copy, go home, have a delicious sub sandwich, Cool Ranch Doritos and a, and a Mountain Dew and play Stellar Blade the way it should be played. Step seven, petition. <coughs> I don't think these petitions are po have much point, but anyway, the petition I made is free Stellar Blade is up. Sign it, spread it, get it trending. Electronic petitions carry less weight in Asia than physical. We will print the petition in Korea and have it delivered to Shift Up Studios and Sony offices. So if we see this change.org, it has 1,500 signatures as of this time. I think the change.org thing, change.org thing is great to talk about, but I really think if it matters to you, and it should, buy the physical copy if you still want to play the game. Secondarily, cancel your PlayStation Plus. And tell them why. You know, get all your updates or whatever you want to do. Cancel it for all you have to do is cancel for a month. You know what I mean? Like just cancel it and tell them free free seller blade. Play your game without the updates, enjoy it, and then worry about you know how their response is. Step eight, contact YouTubers. Hi. Send them this thread, get the word out, and make it. So grums and people who want who have been contacting me, make sure you share my video with the hashtag seller blade. Let people know to follow and subscribe to their channel that has for 10 years now supported um, free speech, anti-censorship, and, um, and the gaming community. The plan won't work. We should just cancel and go home. Sorry, you're wrong. I've used it before and won. I led the change to bring back WoW Classic. He did. I brought an Astralis petition, uh, to, an Astralis petition to Blizzard, and we got it back. We can get this change too. 
you can see a lot of people, I would email Sony PlayStation. So in this thread, you can see all the, it's very easy to just put all these emails on BCC, buy your physical copies. You could hold off on buying the game. I think obviously so your PlayStation Plus subscription is the best way. If you're asking me what the best way is, it's to cancel your PlayStation Plus and tell Sony hashtag free Stellar Blade or that call it Stellar Blade censorship because that amount of money is way more important to Sony than one game going selling a few less copies because that is the reoccurring revenue. Sure, the bunny costume got censored. The kind of the the stuff that sticks to her when you defeat an enemy got censored. Why? There's there's literally no reason for it. Uh, there's no reasonable explanation. Um, you know that did players write back and say, "Oh, I bought an M-rated game and I'm I'm disappointed that it's too M-rated." This would be fine if it was two trans individuals railing each other in a trailer. They'd let that go. They they have the full on. You know, you can hook up with a bear in Baldur's Gate, but you know, you have a total normal character and they're freaking out. And by the way, if you're pushing this stuff and you're and you're sticking up for yourself, don't let any internet weirdos or you know gross feminists call you a coomer or say you're gross. It's just no, because you know what? They're the ones that are demanding. If it didn't matter, why are they demanding the changes? If they, if, if it was so important and irrelevant and didn't matter, then why did they change it in the first place? That shuts down everybody who's going to push back on you on this, right? So when people say, ah, it's just one outfit, who cares? All you need to do, I'll give you the silver bullet, is say, you're right, it's just one outfit. Why did they change it? I hope you enjoyed this video. Hashtag Freestellar Blade, and we'll talk to you again real soon.